Alice's Garden Urban Farm is the sanctuary that a lot of people in the city know that they need, but had no idea they would find it in this space. So we like to say when people come in, welcome home. It is a space where you can come and bring all of you and just interact with not just other people, but all of creation um, that lives and breathes and moves here and just find a peace. And people are surprised. So many people are surprised at what they find here. You know, we were an outdoor parish before we knew we were an outdoor parish. The, the community birthed a church. The community birthed uh, a ministry that we didn't know we would create. Our Tuesday night artisan market, and we have it every Tuesday evening, at least one more after this. Um, all sorts of makers come here to share their gifts and uh, celebrate life. But we have a sense of community here. We have food and art, um, candles. We have um, other things going on in the garden. We have our water project where we harvest rainwater and we have the labyrinth where people can walk the spiritual path for enlightenment or relaxation. I like the community. I like it because it's friendly. It gives you happy vibe. I like, I really like the artwork. Um, <laughs> Uh, to watch the plants grow and stuff. Yeah. Do you guys come here a lot? Yes. Oh, yeah. So we're here today because we donated this lovely sculpture um, to Alice's Garden. It's a labor of love that some of our uh, residents and clients created this summer, and we thought it would go perfectly here. So it's here. <laughs> Everything that's going on around, you know, we have this. Oasis, okay? It's like a little bit of slice of, of, of heaven. It's like what the world should look like. I say that all the time. It's multicultural, multi-ethnic, multi-age, you know, you name it. It all exists here in the garden and it exists in harmony, which really makes it special. I always feel like I need to take my shoes off when I'm in this place because it is sacred ground. Uh, it is a place where creation and community come together. Um, to relish in God's creation and also to celebrate uh, what it means to be uh, in community with one another. Um, I really love their posters of individuals, people of color, students of color, their stories. Um, taking the time to read what they've done, what their hopes and dreams are, very inspiring. I love the garden because just the abundance of everything that's in here, um, the different types of plants and different animals that come for the plants, and just hearing the different sounds and like the vibrations from everybody and everything. So a lot of different birds I will see here. And a lot of people who you know, have garden plots are not necessarily the same community that you'll see at our markets or at our events. So there's the, the cultivating of food, but there is more importantly for us, the cultivating of community and wellness. Yeah. This is a space of health and wellness, both emotional, spiritual, and physical health. Whenever you wanna uh, escape any stress or worries, come in here, I be wanting to, I have the urge to lay in the grass sometimes, but it's just, it's just peaceful. The energy is just everything. I love being, love being here. And then it's just full of love. Everyone in here is always smiling and just sharing with each other. And that's the type of energy I like to be around, so. Because it is sanctuary, it's a place of respect. Sure. Um, my job is to not be a gatekeeper, but a key maker. Mm. And to, to make this available and to really understand what it means to be a community garden. We also, you know, the thing that really matters to us is that word culture and agriculture. So we're not just talking about um, how to grow food, but what it means for us to reclaim our cultural traditions that for many of us brown and black people, you know, our food traditions, our ability to grow food built the wealth of this nation and yet it's constantly been used against us. So we do regenerative farming, regenerating not just soil and food, but regenerating and, and, and reclaiming who we are through soil, through the environment, through the elements, yeah. um, through herbs, reconnecting with traditions for some 
that have been lost. For some of us, they were never lost, thank goodness. And for those of us like myself, where they were never lost, I have the responsibility of teaching again. So what is it about the garden that's special? Um, I think I love it so much because it's right in the neighborhood where we grew up at and it's not far from my house. I actually live four blocks from here and then my mom lives two blocks from here. So it's right in the middle of the heart of the hood. And there's just a lot of always a lot of great things going on, a lot of things that you don't expect to see in this area. Um, a lot of people, a lot of just new activities to do in this area um, that we don't have access to all of the time. So I just love coming here just to give my daughter good experiences and different things to do while we're right in the neighborhood. So we had the wonderful task within our given vocations of creating uh, a ministry in this place that serves so many people That's in great. just multi-layered ways. Um, I'm Dallas's garden, it's a beautiful place.